Hi, my name is Mursh. I'm from Educational Technologies. Today, I'm here to tell you all about Walter. Walter comes with a child's first library of learning. It provides additional knowledge to children. It reads and sings to children. It even teaches them correct pronunciation. Let's have a look. These are all the components. Walter base unit, Walter pen, screwdriver, four AA batteries and one AAA battery, the SD card, USB cable, user manual, Walter sounds card and the warranty card. Now let's set it up. We start with the base unit and the screwdriver to open the compartment and insert the batteries. Here's the screw. Very gently open this. If you apply force, you risk damaging the screw or the lid. Very gently. The lid comes out. Before inserting the batteries in, make sure that this little plastic piece is in place. This will help you later on when you remove the batteries. You will not have to struggle. You just have to pull this and all the batteries come out. So leave this in place and start inserting the batteries. Make sure you're inserting this in the correct polarity. On those little metallic pieces, there are plus and minus signs. And if you follow them, you'll make sure that the batteries go in the right position. Let's start with this one here. There's a plus sign. First battery goes in, second one right there, one more, make sure you have the plus sign, you know where the plus sign is and then that one and the last one goes like that. So you see that the battery is in place. So now we have to put the lid back, right? No. Don't forget the SD card which is right here. Take this SD card and this is how it goes in. Press it down so it locks in position. Now we put the lid back on. Not yet. We suggest that you test your Walter to make sure that the batteries and the SD card are all put in properly and it's working before you put the lid on. For that you need to press the on off button and you have to hold it for a few seconds until it turns blue. Let's see. Perfect. That means your batteries and your SD card are in place and you can put the lid back on. Now we have to put the battery in the pen before we can start using Walter. Screwdriver and the lid. Gently unscrew. Remove the lid. Put this battery in. See the plus and minus and screw the lid back on. Now we turn the pen on. Remember whenever you want to turn on the pen or the Walter, you have to press and hold it for a few seconds until you see the blue light. See the blue light here? See the blue light here? That means they are ready to use. First step, Walter Sounds card, activate it here. You hear the Walter song? I'm Walter, I can talk and sing. I'm Let's try some other sounds. Animals, <laughs> nature, music. Songs. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. This card is fun to play with and test your Volta, but you don't necessarily have to start with this card. You can go directly to the books. We just saw how to set up Walter with batteries, 
However, voltage can also be used by connecting it with electric power, which is what we recommend. In order to do that, you need to use the USB cable provided in the box. You also need to buy a USB adapter, which looks like this. You use this end of the USB cable to connect at the back of Walter, right here. This one goes here. And the other end of the USB cable goes into the adapter, like this. When this goes into your electric socket, Walter is connected with electric power. And now it's not going to use the batteries. There are two very good reasons for using Walter with electric power. First of all, uninterrupted use. Your kids could be using Walter on batteries and they could be in the middle of very exciting book and suddenly the batteries could run out. But if they are using with electric supply, they don't have to wait for mommy or daddy to come home and change batteries. The second reason is durability. If Walter is connected with electric supply, it is going to stay in one place, which means there's very less chance that your kids are going to be walking around with this or they might drop it. Also, if you never have to open the lid and change the batteries, there's no chance to damage the screw or the compartment or the SD card inside. Walter can be used for a very, very long time if it's connected with electric power. The USB cable can also be connected with a computer to get power for the Walter, but we don't recommend that because there's a risk that your child might move or delete one of the thousands of files found on the SD card. Let's see how to use Walter with the books. Let's take book one. At the beginning of every book, there's an activation code and it's very important that you activate every time you want to use Walter with a particular book. You activate it like this. Welcome to our bodies. Every page of the book has these icons. See this one here, this one here, these, these, each one of these has a sound file associated with it and there are 10,000 of these. Let's try this one. An adult lion like me should have 30 teeth, including these four very sharp canines. You see what happened? The lion just talked to you. We call that dramatization, when something or somebody on the page talks to you and gives you additional information about the subject. Let's try book number two, Animal Friends. Remember, every time you want to use a different book, you have to activate the Walter. Welcome to Animal Friends. And now Walter is ready to use with this particular book. Let's try something on this page, which is about giraffes. Let's try this one. The name giraffe comes from an Arab word which means the one that walks very fast. Their single stride covers four and a half meters of ground. That we call factoid. It's not the giraffe talking to you, it's somebody else out of the page providing you with additional relevant information about giraffe. In this case, it tells you the word giraffe comes from an Arabic word, which means the one that walks very fast. Let's try something from book three. Remember to activate. Welcome to Life in the Water. Walter also has lots of songs and poems and rhymes. Kids love music. Let's try this one here. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Walter also teaches correct pronunciation to your child. You see this pink bar at the bottom of every page? These are keywords 
and your child can hear the correct pronunciation of these words. Let's see. Inner ear. Voice. Footsteps. Snout. Pouch. That's very useful, isn't it?